Anytime you wish. Do you have trouble climbing the stairs? Do you feel tired after walking one city block? Do you feel pain and stiffness in your knees? If so, this could be signs and symptoms of inflexibility due to lack of physical exercise. Lack of exercise can lead to serious health conditions, such as diabetes and high blood pressure. In a May 2010 poll by the American Heart Association and Nintendo, 70% of Americans do not receive enough physical exercise per week. In Men's Health Magazine, in a poll of 2010, America's fattest cities Corpus Christi, Texas was voted number one. Philadelphia was voted number 15. This is down a drop from year 2000 where Philadelphia was voted number one. This is due partly to the lack of physical exercise. Lack of exercise can make you feel sluggish and weary. Three months ago, just three short months ago, I myself decided to incorporate 30 minutes per day of walking activity into my daily routine. I am happy to say that as of this morning at 5.15 a.m., I have lost 16 pounds. Just a few simple changes, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking across the mall lot instead of trying to find an entrance closer to the mall can make a big difference. I know you may be saying these are just little changes, but I say to you, little changes now leads to big changes later. Today, I would like to discuss with you the benefits of exercise, the levels of intensity of exercise, and the health risk or lack of exercise. First, please allow me to discuss the benefits of exercise. The definition of exercise, pardon me. The definition of exercise is bodily or mental exertion for the benefit of health or training. The benefit of exercise is the flex flexibility of your bones, muscles, and joints. This slows down the process of natural bone loss with age. Also, maintaining a healthy weight. Of course, I left the BMI chart attached to the handout I gave everyone. And on that handout, it lists how tall you are and what your weight should be. And there's also a little graph at the bottom to show you where your numbers come in if you are between underweight, normal, obese, or overweight. Now I'd like to discuss two types of categories for physical exercise. One is moderate exercise. The CDC on February 15, 2011 reported that adults ages 18 to 64 should do at least 30 minutes per day of physical exercise. This calculates to 150 minutes per week. When beginning exercise, you should start out with a moderate exercise, a moderate regimen of exercise. This is walking, cycling, stationary, bike riding at a normal pace where you are breathing a normal rhythm. A second type of exercise is called high intensity exercise. This is a little more vigorous where you'll pick up the pace. You're moving at a faster pace and the breathing is a little more uncontrolled. It's a little more difficult to catch your breath. You can, com you can combine physical, you can combine moderate and high intensity exercise and you can also do it in 10 minute intervals. Now I would like to discuss the health risk or lack of exercise. Lack of exercise can lead to serious health conditions such as diabetes and high blood pressure. Lack of exercise can 
increase your medical care more than it would be for a monthly membership to the gym. Lack of exercise can lead to obesity, which can lead to type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure. So it's more of a trigger domino effect. As you may recall, last week I spoke with you about type 2 diabetes. Obesity can lead to type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is when the body is not producing enough insulin. Another risk factor of lack of exercise is called the silent killer, which is hypertension or more so high blood pressure. It's not just found in obese people, it's found in people who lack physical exercise. High blood pressure can lead to heart disease and stroke. It's called the silent killer because most people are unaware that they have uh, high blood pressure. It poses no symptoms unless you are more in tune with your body than you may experience lightheadedness, uh, blurred vision, or headaches. And usually it's diagnosed at that point as hypertension. In conclusion, by beginning a moderate 30 minutes per day exercise, you lower your risk of, you slow the process of natural bone loss and maintaining a healthy weight. Also, you may offset your progression of hypertension and type 2 diabetes.